These methods can be used to characterize stress responses in C. elegans and to determine whether genetic or pharmacological perturbations affect the activation of protective cellular pathways. These methods allow rapid and high-throughput testing of hundreds of perturbations, such as gene knockdown, both on the molecular and physiological levels. To ensure the assay is performed properly, include positive and negative controls, synchronize healthy, well-fed animals to the proper stage, and use fresh plates for the experiment. Visualization of micromanipulation of the worms with a pick can help new users understand how the worms can be lined up and assessed for viability. Demonstrating the procedures will be Phil Franchino, Holly Gilday, and Melissa Metcalf, graduate students in our laboratory. To use animals expressing GFP under the promoter of the heat shock protein 4 for activation of the endoplasmic reticulum unfolded protein response, grow synchronized reporter animals at 20 degrees Celsius until the L4 stage and wash the worms off the plate using M9 medium and transfer into a tube. After collecting the worms by centrifugation, replace the M9 with 25 nanograms per milliliter of the drug of interest in M9 or dimethyl sulfoxide in M9 in the control animal tubes. Then place the worms on a rotating platform for three to four hours at 20 degrees Celsius. At the end of the incubation, centrifuge the worms to settle before replacing the treatment solution with 15 milliliters of M9 alone. After two washes, transfer the animals to NGS.